What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am on the road. I am going to be picking up another part uh, for the 886 hatch and I will show you guys when I get there. Um, this is just going to be like a spare part. I'm pretty excited about this too. It's really cheap so I wasn't really looking to get this but I mean it was a good deal and it was on offer up so I was like I might as well just get it. So. Uh, I'm gonna go pick it up right now. I'm probably like 20 minutes out and uh, once I get it then uh, I'll show you guys But yeah, so once I get it, I will show you guys. So uh, see you guys in a second So we don't really get snow here in California, but uh, We get a lot of fog and this is pretty crazy. It's already uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning but it's still pretty dense fog and we've been getting this all day so this is what we struggle with and it's actually not that bad you don't really see anything but I would rather have this than snow I guess it's not as bad as snow uh, we can still drive our cars year round but see you guys in a second a few moments later alright guys I'm back home now and I got the part right here and are you guys ready to see what it is? I'll show you right now. So it is another K24. This one is actually a K24A4. So it only has VTEC in, I believe, the exhaust side. And it's only a two low VTEC for the camshaft. So it's not as powerful. I believe stock this one only outputs like maybe 150 160 horsepower but um it's still a good motor i see a lot of guys boost this motor specifically on youtube and stuff and they still make great amount they still make great amount of power so uh pretty cool i'm just gonna use this one as a spare i believe he said that the motor was knocking so but he says that the crank still turns over i'm gonna check that right now with you guys and we'll see if it's still good uh, we put off the valve cover and everything looked really good so so I think it should be okay but uh, let me go ahead and um, get some tools and then we'll see if we could turn this crank over but really excited about this you guys can see here everything's pretty clean it didn't come with all the accessories like this one where it has everything but it at least comes with the crank and um, I don't really need all of this anyways because when we do rear wheel drive conversions we pretty much throw all that away but um, it would be nice to maybe have the alternator pulleys and stuff but I might be able to go get those from the junk later on and I should be okay but if it's just a spare motor I probably won't really need that stuff because I could always just replace it with what I have but yeah let me go get a tool and then we could go ahead and try to turn the crank Okay, got a 19 right here. And let's see. It does turn over. And you even hear some pressure still. There you go. So I did hear a little bit of compression from the intake valve. So it might still be okay as long as it turns over. So it should be okay for at least a rebuild. Uh, at least it's not like stuck or anything like that and seized. So you at least you know that the pistons still spin over, which means it's still a good candidate for a rebuild. So pretty happy about this and uh, I'm gonna go take it off. What I'm gonna do is I have some spare motors here that I probably don't need to put to have on a stand like my KA here. So I might remove the KA here, put my K24 on there, and then put this K24 onto where this is at. So it might take me a while to do this. So let me go ahead and get all this sorted out. And then uh, once I do that, we'll come back and today, we're gonna try to get my 86 which is sitting out in the field over there and we're gonna try to put it into this patio here I'm um, still not sure if I want to do that or if I want to take both of Jeffrey's cars out and put them in here kind of just cover them up and park it out here but I'm not really sure they're kind of nice to just leave outside like this so 
I might actually just work on the car here. It's it is gonna get warmer soon, so um, the cold might not be an issue later. So I might just do it here, and I could still do like all this other stuff. So uh, might just put my 86 right in the center right here, so we can work on it. But yeah, enough talking, and I'll get back to you in a bit. All right, man, that took a pretty long time, but. I got the patio pretty clean now, as you guys can see here. Uh, my dogs are chasing the goat. But here are the K20s. So we got the motors here, the other motors that are just chilling here. Uh, this is a SR20 DET, but it's just hanging out here. It needs to be rebuilt. And uh, we've had this one for a while now. Like I said, Jeffrey got it for his Celica in case he ever needs to do a rebuild. Um, maybe I should put it into my S14 though, bite off of him, but um, I might be able to do that. So we'll see where I go with this. But I do have a bunch of KAs, so these are the KA24 DEs from the 240s. But I bought this one, and it's a good running engine. It has good compression all around. It's just a stock block. It is an S14 KA, though, uh, not like the S13 one I have in my S14 right now. And this is another S13 block. I do have the heads in storage. Um, this one, when I bought it, it was kind of junky. But anyways... Um, that one needs a rebuild but got the whole patio clear now and I'm gonna try to move my Corolla by myself so I decided might as well record it in case uh, something crazy happens I guess I would have recorded it but uh, what I did so far was I couldn't move it out of the dirt by myself so I had to use my FJ and use a rope to pull it out and I use a stopper right here, a wheel chuck, to kind of stop it in its track so that it doesn't roll and hit my FJ because that would suck too. So uh, I think now that it's out of its spot, I might be able to push it myself into the patio. So we'll see if I'm able to do that and then uh, go from there. So let me go ahead and set this camera in a good spot and then we'll see if I could uh, push it myself. If not, I have my brother's brother-in-law come in and uh, he'll probably help me out so we'll see I just want to try to do it by myself so I can start working on uh, the 86 today and just do little things here and there and record that as well so um, here we go all right uh, I'm kind of far but should be okay No, it is too heavy for me to um, do it myself. So I'm just gonna wait for my buddy to get here. And once he does, then 
uh, we'll actually be able to kind of push it in. So probably got to wait for a while, but in the mean, but in the meantime, I could probably just go ahead and clean some more stuff out. Maybe I should take stuff out of my 86 to make it a little bit lighter. So let me go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I didn't realize I recorded a lot more than I thought. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. And uh, the next vlog, you'll see my 86. It will be under the patio. And thanks to my friend Lang, uh, he came and helped out. Him and his wife, they helped me push the car into the patio. And a uh, big thanks to them. And uh, another thing is I just reached 550 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me and hopefully I could get to 1,000 subscribers by this year and I'm shooting for by this summertime. So, look at these guys fighting. Hey. So, hopefully I could get to 1,000 by uh, this summertime or something. But again, thank you so much for subscribing and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, peace. Oh, 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 oh,